Good day, guys. Um, hope everyone is doing well today and that your trading is going as well as you planned. Today, I want to go over the subject of trading psychology. And my subject today is how your thoughts and beliefs influence you as a trader. I hope this uh, presentation will help you in ways in which you it will be, help you to become more aware of your thoughts and how you are as a person and how that affects your trading in general. So to begin with, I want to quote from a book that I've read before. It's called psycho cybernetics by maxwell Motz, and i'm going to quote a verse from the book it says understanding the psychology of the self can mean the difference between success and failure love and hate bitterness and happiness the discovery of the real self can rescue a crum crumbling marriage recreate a flattering career transfer victims of personality failure on another plane, discovering yourself means a difference between freedom and the compulsions of, of conformity. I've always believed this statement to be very powerful. If I can break it down a little, let me repeat. On another plane, discovering yourself means a difference between freedom and compulsions of conformity. What does that mean? In my estimation, that means that once you're able to master yourself, master who you are, master how you are, master how you, you, your, your, your being. Once you have that, once you've created that freedom, once you have that freedom, then you're able to live outside of the norms of society, outside of, you, you don't have to conform to any other person's or society's beliefs or ways of being or what they say you should or could or not be or maybe or anything like that you're going to be who you are and i think that's so profound and once we can be free enough to live outside of the conformities of any society or other person's expectations then we are truly free indeed and that's why i, I put this quote here today continuing um we would ask ourselves what is what really is psychology and the the dictionary uh definition is it's a study of how we think or conscious or subconscious and how our thoughts affect our behavior so there's a saying that says so you think so you are or so you think so you become and that is always true because our thoughts are really the mechanism that runs our behaviors and how how we are and who we are and basically we are our thoughts we project our thoughts so 100 percent of all successes equals 80 percent mindset and 20 percent action this is a fundamental principle i earned i learned from a mentor that i had back in 2016. i've always been doing mindset work from that time until now i learned about it since then and in anything that you're successful at, it is the fact that your mind would have been ahead and then your actions would have followed. So once you can work on your mindset, your mindset will take you places that you never even dreamed of going once you work on your mind. So here's a checklist of things that you need to be mindful of. One, your awareness, your self-awareness, your expectations versus your actions, your how you compare yourself to others and your habits now in terms of awareness it is important for us to become more self-aware because in being more self-aware we are able to see how we have repetitive behaviors or habits the ones that are serving us the ones that aren't serving us the ones that bring more value to our lives the ones that let us feel like we're not enough or we're 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 never going to be enough and stuff like that once we become aware of the thoughts that we're having whether subconsciously or consciously and there are ways to even dig into your subconscious to know what you're thinking sub subconsciously such as meditation um so once you become more conscious of how you operate and who you are and the habits that you have and the the repetitive behaviors that you have then you're able to stop yourself for example and say 
you, you catch yourself doing something that you know is not going to be serving you right now or is not going to be serving you long term. And once you're aware, then you you catch yourself doing it and you can you can correct that behavior or that habit. But if you're not aware, then there's no way for you to correct or to to change what is happening with you so that it brings more value to your life and to what you're trying to do. In terms of expectations versus actions, uh, we have we tend to set expectations on ourselves based on what we may have seen somebody else do or based on what we saw somebody post on YouTube, Instagram or Facebook. They would have so we saw where somebody okay they made twenty thousand dollars today and we're saying whoa um i've been trading so long and i know i can get to that level and but at the same time we do not know what that person did to get them to this stage in their life and to, to get them to this point in time where they're able to say one word and they make twenty thousand dollars a day or press a button and they make twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars per day we did not do the work that they did, so we cannot be comparing ourselves in, in, in truth to what that person is doing and where that person is now. <clears throat> and we tend to compare ourselves to other successful people. We're not, I'm not saying we're not to aspire to be better and to be the best that we can be, but do not compare yourself and do not set expectations that are not realistic about yourself. Go through your own journey, do the work that you need to do to get to the level that you want to get to. Let yourself be your competition. Compete with yourself every day to be better. And that's how you're going to grow as a person. And don't, don't, don't set the expectations where you're not going to be doing the actions to match the expectations. And that's basically the summary of that. As I said, don't compare yourself to others. It's not a good thing because you do not know what they did to get where they are. You didn't. You haven't done the work to do where they to get to where they are now. So self comparison only beats you down in a sense, and it makes you feel like you're not worthy, you're not valuable, you're not enough, and you're not going to get anywhere with that mindset. So the self comparison doesn't help you at all. In terms of your habits. Um, Try to be more aware, as I had said earlier, about the habits that are not serving you and try to, once you're aware of that, then you're going to be able to, to deal with the habits that are not serving you in a sense. Okay. So the, the answers to these problems that you're, you might be facing would be to practice meditation. When you meditate, you are able to sit with yourself feel the feelings that come up, feel whatever comes up that is uncomfortable or your mind basically just throws things at you that you need to address. Be aware of what these things are that come up and try to assess and deal with these things. Physical exercise is a way to, um, to, to help your mental um, space. So it, it clears your mind and you know, you start to see things different and it helps you with clarity mostly. Be self-conscious, meaning so sometimes people look at being self-conscious as, as being proud or being too, um, uh, you, you're, you're, you feel like you're better than somebody else or in, in that light, they see it as a negative thing, which in being, being self-conscious is not always a negative thing. It means that you're conscious of who you are, you are conscious of your behaviors, you're conscious of your self-image, you're conscious of how you are, how you behave, your habits and the things that make you you. Once you're aware like that and you're more conscious of yourself, then you're more able to address the things that are holding you back, that are not serving you and that are not helping you, especially with your trading as we are talking about trading. Breathing exercises help you with even more clarity and it helps your body in terms of um, how your body um, absorbs um, your, your feelings or your surroundings or stuff that is happening to you and it, it helps you with your mind. Practice being more self-aware. I cannot say this enough because it is so important because it is through awareness that you will be able to change things, change your vocabulary. When we say I can't, I won't, 
I I want to, it means there is a lack of something. It means that you're not enough. You're not feeling that there's enough. And I want to make a million dollars. You're not saying, okay, I, uh, you're saying that, it basically means that you're saying that you don't have any money. I want to make X amount of money at some particular time. And in doing that, you, you, you basically tell yourself that you don't have it and there is not enough and there is a lack somewhere. And because of that, even if you do make a successful trade and you make $10,000 today, by the end of the week, the self-sabotage is going to come in where you're going to find a way to either go spend it off or you're going to find a way to lose more trades and lose the money. You're going to find a way to deplete that money because you're not feeling good enough to have $10,000 and so it will disappear. And that's how subconscious and mind and how your mind works because your mind projects who you are. Now, to just sum up, I, this, this whole presentation could be an hour or two hours, but I don't want to make it that long. I just want you to be aware of the things that become more aware of the things that you, that are holding you back. So once you're, you become more self-aware, then you will become able to correct those behaviors or habits. And that's where you'll start to see change in terms of who you are, how you are, how you do things, um, how you operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, you're going to sit down to start a trading session at 2 o'clock London time, London opening time. What are you thinking before you're placing those trades? Your thoughts will affect the outcome of the trades, believe it or not. What are you thinking? How positive or how negative are your thoughts before you pl you're placing those trades? Um, what is your mindset going into the day? What did you do before going into the day? Did you do any perform any exercise? Did you perform any meditation? Here's a here's an exercise that can actually help you. The mind movies, right? I didn't go to that. Mind movies are basically where you do um, visualization and you basically play things in your mind as to who you want to be. I'm using the word want to be because that is the case, but you're not going to use that vocabulary. So you're going to basically say, I am statements and you're going to visualize things because in your mind, that's why your dreams are so powerful. When you're in a state of dream, you're in a state, you're in your subconscious mind. And whatever is placed on your subconscious mind is what stays with you. And through visualization, you're able to tell yourself that this is what you are. And your mind does not really know the difference because it cannot tell the difference because between what is real or what is not when it is on your subconscious. So mind movies help you to visualize being who you want to be and being who you, you endeavor to be. And that will help you in growing who you are and growing your mindset and growing your physical earnings, right? I had, just to give you a little story, I had created this program back in 2016 where I, it's the same idea talking about your self-image. It's called Unleash the Real You. It was a program I created for other entrepreneurs like myself who were struggling with who, who they were or who they are as a person and it was basically a program that brought brought you from being less aware to being absolutely aware of who you are your habits your behaviors and how to improve your self-image so i have a photograph here let me bring up a bigger a better one right so it basically took you through how to get you to solve those problems that are that are not serving you those habits and so on and behaviors. So it it it, oh, like it was a seven week um, program. I'm not promoting that now. I'm just showing it to you. So if you're if you want to go, if, if somebody really wants me to go through this with them, then I can do that. If you want to do that kind of mindset work, I'll set aside the time to do that and help you with that. But I'm just showing you that this is there if you need to access this, accept it, access it, right? So. To conclude, if it is that you feel that you want to fast track your progress as a trader, you're tired of being mediocre and not sure what direction you're actually heading in and you're fe you feel like you're struggling with this trading thing, then I 
have created a program that can help traders who are struggling to take them from struggling to being consistent in their trading, right? It's called the 45 day Phoenix FX accelerator, accelerator program, helping traders go from struggling to consistent in 45 days or less. And that is true. If let me give you the backstory on why I call it the Phoenix FX accelerator program. My life took a turn in 2018, 2019, where I basically was put in reset mode. There was a, there was a cataclysmic event in my life, which basically changed how my life was. And I had to rebuild and I had to, to remember who I was and bring myself back to who I am. And here is where the mind work helped me. I would not be where I am today without that. And I akin myself to being the phoenix that is that rose from the ashes. Hence, which is why the word phoenix resonates with me so much, and which is why I gave the program that name. So if it is that this also resonates with you and you see yourself going from from feeling that you're not worthy, not of value, that you're not make, moving the needle, that you're not seeing the progress that you want to see in your trading, then I can help you with that. Um, work together for the next 45 days, get you from not sure what you're doing to knowing what you're doing and being consistent at it. If that's for you, then send me a message. I will definitely reach back out to you and help you get started. If you believe this program helped you in any way, and if this presentation helped you to help to bring any awareness to what what might be um, holding you back, then leave a comment on the post here. I'm going to post this in the group, and let us have a discussion. And if anybody needs any personal help with with their mindset, then just reach out to me. I will be able to help you as well. I love helping people. Happy trading and have a great day. Bye-bye.